Okay, today we go to the last part for our chapter 5 trigonometry. Okay, before we go to the last part, we learn this triangle. Okay, we learn the triangle. Okay, if the triangle is equilateral triangle, 如果那个三角形是等边三角形, that means this is equilateral triangle. Three sides are the same. 三边都一样长. So that means the angle for this one is 60 degree. This one is 60 degree. This one also 60 degree. Okay, so this is equilateral triangle. So I just assume this is true. This is true. This is true. So when I divide it into half, okay, into half, that means it's like this. Here is one and one. Here is one, here is one. So this is 30 degree. This is 30 degree. This is also this 30 degree. So I redraw it. So this is one. This is two. This is 60 degree. This is 30 degree. This is 90 degree. Okay, so how about the length for this one? So the length for this one is square root hypotenuse square minus 1 square. So it's equal to root 3. Okay, that's why we get the triangle for this one. Okay, second one is we look at this is a uh, isoscale triangle, 等边三角形. So this is isoscale triangle. Isoscale triangle, that means we have two length is equal. This length and this length is equal. So this is 90 degree. Sure, here is 45. This is 45. I use 1 and 1. So the hypotenuse is 1 square plus 1 square. So it's equal to square root 2. This is how it come up with the, uh, the diagram for the triangle. Okay, now we find, we complete the diagram. We complete the diagram using without using a calculator so we just using the diagram for this one okay sine 30 this is sine okay 30 degree so hypotenuse if i use 30 degree that means this is my opposite sine is oh we recall back sine is oh so cos is cha is a h Tension is TOA. Okay, sine 30 degree. OH, so it's 1 over 2. Cos 45. Okay, this is hypotenuse. Okay, this is hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. Okay, this is adjacent. Okay, so this is adjacent, so we know cos is A and H. A is 1. H is our square root 2. Try one more. Tension 60. 60, so this is O. Now this become A. Tension is O A. So it's root 3 over 1. So it's called 2 root 3. So can you complete for the rest? Okay, question 19. We look at 19, find 
the following values without using a scientific calculator. Don't cannot use calculator. So sine 45 from above, we know sine 45. Okay. Actually, okay, we go and find what is sine 45. Sine is OH, so it's 1 over root 2. Sine 44 or 45 is 1 over root 2 plus cos 45. Cos 45 is 1 over root 2. We have the same denominator, 同样的分母, so you can draw, so it's root 2. 1 plus 1 become 2. Okay, we can change our answer, okay? So we see that root 2 divide by, uh, 2 divide by root 2. How we do it? Okay. You still remember this one? We can multiply root 2. Okay, multiply root 2. So, become 2 root 2. Root 2. Okay, 2 times root 2. Sorry, root 2 times root 2. Okay, so it become 2 square root 2 over 2 square. So we can cancel out 2 root 2 become 2. Do you know why? Because root 2, 2 power 2 is equal to Two power two, so it's become two. So at the end, our answer is square root two. Oh, you still remember we learned the index? Okay, so two two over root two. The best is the same. So two power one. Divide by 2 power 1 over 2 is equal to 2 power 1. Divide means minus 1 over 2. So it's 2 1 over 2. Still the same root 2. Okay, this is recall back the index number. This is the index number. Okay, so we learn one more. Okay, 3 cos 30. You try this one. 3 cos 30. 3 cos 30. Okay, we go and find what is cos 30. Cos, so this is O. This is A. Cos is A and H, so is root 3. A and H. 3 cos 30 is root 3 over 2. Minus sine 60. Okay, what is our sine 60? Sine 60. So now here is. Okay. This is opposite. This is A. This is H. Sine is OH. So it's root 3 over 2. Okay, our answer is root 3 over 2. So how you complete it? Our denominator is the same. 我们的分母是一样的, so it's 2. 3 root 3 minus root 3. 3 apple 1 minus 1 apple. So you left 2 apple. 2 root 3. So we can cancel out our 2. So we left root 3. Okay. Um, we try question G. 
three sine four d five. Okay, I just give you sine four d five refer to above on four d five is one over root two times four tangent thirty. Tangent thirty is one over root three minus. 2 cos 30 cos 30 is root 3 over 2 times 2 sin 60 sin 60 also root 3 over 2 okay now we complete this one Three times four, three times four, twelve. Denominator root two times root three, two times three, minus two times two, four. Okay. Root three times root three. Denominator is four. Okay, now we complete this. Okay, twelve root six. Minus actually root three times root three will become three because root three times root three will become square root three power square. So it's become to three. So three times four twelve over four. Okay, now how you make how you simplify it? How you simplify the equation? How you simplify this one? Okay. If I say this one, I times 12 root 6. I multiply root 6 over root 6 minus 12 over 4 actually it's become 3 la. so it's 12 root 6 6 minus 3 okay I still can simplify 6 1 6 2 so 2 root 6 minus 3 okay normally we don't want the third as our denominator so we just multiply the third with with itself 我们通常不要 square root 或者我们不要 third 在楼下 所以我们就会把楼下的 denominator 的 third 乘自己 让它可以变成一个整数 Okay, this one is very easy. Convert each of the angles to the unit of degree and minutes. This is degree. Okay, remember one degree, one degree equal to 60 minutes. Okay, one degree equal to 60 minutes. Okay, for example, this one. I want to degree and minutes. That means it's 30, 73 degree plus our 0 0.3 degree. 73 degree, let it maintain it. Okay, 保持原状. But we only want to change the decimal of our degree to minutes. So that means 0 0.3 times 60 minutes because 1 degree equal to 60 minutes. So it's 73 degree plus 
use calculator you get 18 minutes so it's 73 degree 18 minutes okay the rest you complete okay question 21 convert each of the following angles to the unit of degrees only i don't want minutes so that means it's 46 degree plus nine minutes how change minute to degree so one minute equal to 60 degree so it's nine divided by 60 i get the degree so it's 46 plus 0 0.15 degree so write it 46.15 degrees okay the rest you complete it okay question 22 using the by using the scientific calculator find the following values so you just go to your calculator you will see this is sign this is cause this is tangent okay normally our calculator is in degree so please make sure this is degree okay so now i just press cost 46.2 so you will get 0 0.6921 just write in four decimal places okay how i how i get 81 degree 36 minutes okay so tension okay press 81 press this one this is degree 36 press one more time it's minute so it's equal to 6.77198 so it's 720 okay just for your information for example this one actually we no need to calculate we can use our calculator 我们不需要算出来就是计算机都可以帮我们们 so 46 degree 9 minutes 46 degree 9 minutes okay so I want change to degree just press this one press one more time so the answer will give you 46.1415 degree for example this one 7 point, uh, 73 point three degree i want change to degree and minutes okay 73 point three this is degree i want change to degrees and minutes so just press the degree and minutes so the calculator will give you 73 degree 18 minutes okay the rest you complete it by using a scientific calculator find the following values of the theta okay i want to know the angle sine theta given equal to this one so i want to find the angle that means i use the shift sin okay so how i get if i want angle then i need to press shift this is sin right so sine 0 0.69 so i get 43.63 degree oh i can write it as 43 degree 37 minutes okay one more thing may i know this is 37 or 38 because uh we have 60 minutes so 48 is more than 30 so we need to plus one so this is 38 degree at 38 minutes i repeat one more time in a woman the minutes they make okay that means our minutes with the full of phoenix is 60 so the half is 30 so 30 48 is more than 30 so we need to plus one for the minutes so it's 38 okay we try one more cos theta is 0 0.92 that means your theta is shift cos 0 0.92 so your answer is 
23.07 degree. Oh, we are right in degree and minutes. So, you see, 26 is less than 30. So, we no need to add one for our minutes. So, it's 23 degree, 4 minutes. Okay? Question 24. The diagram shows a highway. Okay, the diagram shows a highway. P, Q, and R are three points on the edge of the highway. Given the distance between P and R is 7, calculate the width in meter. Width, that means is this one. This is the width. So I want to know this one. So what can you do? This one is opposite. This one is hypotenuse. Okay. So this is adjacent. I want to find this one. So I can use OH. OH is sine. Why? Eh? Why today? Eh? Okay. Sine 45 is equal to our OH. O is PQ. H is 7. So PQ is equal to 7 times sine 45. So use your calculator, you will get 4.95. Okay. Question B. The diagram shows the root roof of a house. The roof makes an anchor with the horizontal. Find the size of the anchor to the nearest degree. Okay, I want the answer in nearest degree. I want to know the anchor. This is right anchor triangle. So 5.2. Divide into half, that means 5.2 divided by 2, 5.2 二, so you will get 2.6. I want to know the angle. I have the length for this one and this one. 90 degree, so this is H. This is opposite. This is adjacent. I have O and A. So what is the trigonometry that you can use? So OA is tangent. Tangent theta is equal to 1.5 divided by 2.6. So angle is shift tangent. Okay, 1.5 over 2.6. Use your calculator. Okay. 1.5 divided 2.6 shift tension so you will get 29.98 okay but the question request nearest degree so it's 30 degree okay question C question C this is a bit difficult for the diagram the diagram shows a cube board M and N are the mid points of the J, K, and E, F. If a right angle triangle N, M, L, this is right angle triangle of the M, L is formed with the calculate the angle of the M, N, L. M, N, L. I want to find this angle. M, N, L. Okay. We read one more time. M and N. M and N is the midpoint. 中间点, J, K, and E, F. Okay, so this is J, K, this is E, F. So midpoint, that means here is 6. Sure, here also 6. Here 6. Here 6. So midpoint, that means here is 3. Here is 3. Here is 3. Here also 
tree. Okay, you see. For example, we look at this one. Okay, so I have a triangle. I have a triangle. Oh, cannot see. I have a triangle like this. Okay, so when I, this is my NML. Okay, so this is NML. So I form from the one to another vertices. So that means here is 90 degree. Your M is 90 degree. So I can draw. I know that this is M. This is L. This is your N. May I know the NM? The height of the NM sure with same with the EJ. So this is 3. But the question come. May I know the length for this one? The length for this one? How I know this one? Okay, if I draw back, do you see this one? This is K, this is L, this is J, this is I. This is 4 cm, this is 6, 4, 6. I told you, this is M. So here is 3. Here is 3. So this is the line ML. Sure, here is 90 degree, right? 这里一定是90度,是不是? So this is a right angle triangle. 3, 4, so 5. 3 squared plus 4 squared, so you will get 5. So I know ML is 5. Okay, the question asks you. Calculate the value for the angle MNL. M N L. That means I want to know this angle. How you find the angle? What you can use? Okay, this is 90 degree. This is So, this is hypotenuse. Angle opposite. So, this is A. I have the information for A and O. O A, I can use tangent. Tangent Anchor M N L is equal to O is five, A is three. So anchor M N L is equal to shift tangent five over three. Remember, use the bracket, huh? So you will get use a calculator. You will get. 59.04 degree otherwise you can use you can change it to the degree and minutes 53 uh, 59 degree two minutes okay question d you see this question a cat with he with uh, which is 30 cm tall that means this cat the height of the cat is 30 cm okay so if i draw here that means here from here is 30 cm so notice a mouse the cat see a mouse. The cat and the mouse were on a horizontal ground. Okay, this is the ground. The anchor depression of the mouse from the side of the cat. From here, the cat see from the cat. The anchor of depression. What is mean depression? That means you looking down. So this is the horizontal, looking down, the cat is, thir is 13 degree. 
Okay, I repeat one more time. Anchor of depression. That means you're looking down. Okay, looking down from the side of a cat. Okay, the cat eye is over here. So this is the horizontal. Okay, looking down from the horizontal is 13 degree. Okay. So we know this is 90 degree. This is 30 degree. Uh, 30 cm. This is 13 degree. Using the anchor of the Z, so we know here also 13 degree. Question asks you, calculate the horizontal distance between the cat and mouse. I want to know this one. I want to know the distance over here. Okay, before we calculate this one, I would like to let you know as your information. We have two ankle. One is called anchor depression. One is called anchor elevation. Elevation, that means you're looking up. For example, this is my eye. So this is the horizontal line. Elevation, so I'm looking up. So 13 degree. So this is called elevation. How you memorize it? Okay, you see the E. Okay, E, you see? Going up. The head is going up. So elevation is going up. We look the D. D. This is D. Head is going down. So going down. Looking down. Depression. D to kang. Why? Okay. Elevation. E up. See? This is our E up. Okay, we go back to our question. So I know this is 13 degree. I have O. This is anchor opposite O. This is hypotenuse. This is A. OA, I can use tension. Tension anchor is 13 degree. How to find the tension is OA. O is 30. A is the distance. Okay, I just write distance. Or you just write A. So distance is equal to 30 divided by tension, 13. So use your calculator, you will get 139.9 cm. Okay, I hope you can understand. Question E, I just left for you. Okay, question E. Okay, we go to page. At the tree, yes, we go to pitch at the tree. Okay, we go to pitch at the tree. This one, this question. Okay, diagram shows a cuboid. Calculate the length of BD. The length of BD. This is BD. How you get the length of the BD? I know this is 6 here also. 6. Okay. This one. Okay. If I say like this. This is your B. This is your D. This is your A. So sure here is 90 degree. Okay. If you cannot imagine, we just draw this one. This is A, B, C, D. B, D is like this. So, A, B is at centimeter. B, C is 6. This one is 6. So, sure, here is 90 degree. Okay, 
this is 90 degree so this is a right angle triangle i want to find the length of the bd so how you get the bd bd square bd is square root hypotenuse mark. so six square plus x square so is 10 centimeter okay and then question two the anchor between line bd and be the anchor between the anchor between line bd and be is this one bd and be i want to know the anchor this one okay i draw back i draw it back this is bd okay b and d this is 90 degree this is e bd i know is 10 just now i get from one okay be may i know the be this is six this is also six so this is six so how i get the angle 90 degree the anchor between BD and BE. BD and BE. So the anchor is. The anchor is here. So this is opposite. This is hypotenuse. This is your adjacent. So I have information O and A. So I can use tangent angle BDE. What is your BDE tangent? OA, 6 over 10. So anchor BDE is shift tangent, 6 over 10. So your answer is supposed to be 30 degree 58 minutes. Okay? Okay, we look question this question question 5a yes question 5a okay question 5a in the diagram klmn is a straight line this is a straight line q is the midpoint this is midpoint of the PM PM Q is the midpoint of the PM okay so this is midpoint I use another red Sorry. Okay, so this is the this is midpoint. So sure here is equivalence. Okay, we go and see. Given that tangent x tangent x ninety degree, so this is hypotenuse. Opposite. This is adjacent. Okay. Tangent x is twelve over five. Tangent x is twelve over five. Tangent is O and A. So O is twelve. So O is twelve. Your A is five. 
so I know the length for this one. The question also say that cos y equal to 3 over 5. Okay, we just left it first. We see the first question first. Sin x. Find the sin x. Sin is O h. Sin is O and h. May I know the h? Can you find the h? This is not a right angle triangle. So I know the h is qr. qr is my hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is equal to a square plus o square. 5 square plus 12 square. So you will get 13. Okay, so your QR is 13. So, 1. Sin X is equal to OH. O is 12. Your H is 13. So, this is your answer. So, number 2. I want to find the tangent Y. Tangent Y. Okay. Tangent Y. This is your hypotenuse. Still remember this one I get 5? Sure here also 5. So I know this one is 10. Okay? Y. This is O. This is H. This is A. Tangent Y is O and A. I want to know what is my O. What is my A? Okay, how I get the O? Cos Y equal to 3 over 5. How you find cos? Cos Y is 3 over 5. Okay, cos is A H ta. So, Cos y is 3 over 5. A and H. A is LP. H is this one, 10. Equal to 3 over 5. So I know LP already. So LP is 3 over 5 times 10. So you get 6. So your LP is 6. Now, do you, can you get the LM? LM is equal to hypotenuse 10 squared minus your A squared. So it's 6 squared. So it's 8. So tangent Y is tangent is O and A. So what is your O? O is your LM. A is your LP. So LM is at LP is 6. Simplify your answer 4 over 3. Okay, we like question B. Question B. Okay. Question B. I only to help you to draw out. Okay, we draw out. A ladder leans against a coconut tree. This is coconut tree. Okay, this is coconut tree. This is the ladder. Okay, the anchor between the base of the leader and the horizontal flow is 24 degree. If the ladder is 6 meter long, okay, 6 meter long, 6 meter, how high does the ladder reach? So I want to know. I want to know. This one, I want to know the height. 
I want to know this one. So this is a right angle triangle. Find this one. Okay, try to find your answer. Okay, last question I want to discuss is this question. Okay, is this right there? Okay, this question. In the diagram, in this diagram, the PS and the QR are parallel. This two line is parallel. If ankle QPS, ankle QPS, QPS. Cos anchor QPS is 5 over 13. So now I want to know whether this is 90 degree or not. Okay, so I check. Given that the anchor cos anchor QPS equal to 5 over 13. So I check cos. I want to know whether here really is 90 degree or not. So I check, this is hypotenuse. So anchor over here, this is opposite. This is A. Cos is A and H. 10 over 26 equal to 5 over 13. So simplify 13. So same. So I can guarantee here is 90 degree. Okay, the question asks you, find the anchor PSR. PSR, I want to know this anchor PSR. Okay, I erase one more time. Okay, what I want to find is the anchor for this one. I know here is 93, but how about here? What is the anchor over here? Okay. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Sure, over here also 90 degree. So this is a right angle triangle. Can I know this length? So I can find the QS. QS actually is, I use this triangle. So I use square root 26 square minus 10 square. So you use calculator, you will get this is 24. So here is 24. Can I find the anchor over here? This is opposite. This is 90 degrees. This is hypotenuse. This is A. I have information A and O. So I can use tension. Okay. Tension anchor QSR is equal to OA. O is 32. A is 24. So anchor QSR is equal to 53 degree. At minutes. Okay, this is anchor. Shift tangent 32 over 24. Okay, so now you can find the total anchor of PSR is equal to 90 degree plus 53 degree at minutes. So you will get 143 degree at minutes. Okay, question three I left for you. Okay, that's all for our chapter three.